Hello and welcome to the Golden Arrow Community Site tutorial on how to manage your account settings, look at members, and be able to set up and use the friends capability. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to focus up here at the top right hand side. You can see your name actually appears in two different places and this, is, this can be a little confusing so we're going to talk through what this is. This section here is dedicated to actually managing your your account itself okay so the actual settings and preferences and and the things that you want to set for behaviors on the site so if we click here we'll go ahead and go through this first okay so when I click on account it brings me into this screen okay and it starts out here under account under basic details this is where you actually put in your display name this is what will actually show on your posts here you can see that my name is up here Sean Sullivan uh, you can put in a gender if you wish basically anything other than the display name is entirely optional okay you don't actually have to put anything in here if you don't want to share anything you don't have to if you do this is information that will be shown to other people okay so for example uh, you know, I can come in here. I said I'm male. I've got my birth date in here just so that the system will actually know when my birthday is so they can actually post it. There's actually a section in here where we show birthdays. You know, I'm using the default website language. If your default language is not English, there are a number of options. I also have a quote in here. My personal quote that I like actually on my emails is we are called to be the architects of our future, not its victims, which is a quote from Buttminster Fuller. And then just a quick little blurb about myself. So that's the stuff I have here. I can make changes to this when I'm done. I can hit save change. So that's my basic details. Email and password. This is where you can come in and change your password. You would enter your old password your new password, and then you would enter the new password again to be able to make the change. You can also change your email information. So this is gonna be your email and your email password. Okay, and this password is what's going to be able to uh, allow this system to generate emails against your account. Your social networks. If you do have a Skype account or Twitter account or Facebook account, Instagram, Google+, YouTube, or Discord, uh, you can come in here and put in your ID. That will attach the system to those social networks and you can do things like liking and sharing and, and that sort of stuff. So there's that. And of course, once you make the changes here, you hit save changes. Uh, under notifications, this is a way, like for example, if you don't want any email address and e any email notifications if you don't want to see anything show up in your email you want it to you know show up somewhere else or wherever uh, you can come in here and you can turn these things off so just to kind of tell you what these things are uh, the growl is actually down here this is information that pops up down here uh, kind of real time uh, you can also enable email notifications to your registered email address so this is turning off email notifications. So if you turn this off, you're not gonna get notified if you're subscribed to a thread or if there's uh, anything else that you've set up that you want a notification for, it would not go to your email address. You would only really see it down here in the, uh, in the bar at the bottom, the notification bar. So then messages, this talks about uh, whether you want to allow private messages, private messages when uh, one person on the site sends you a message directly. Uh, community messages, so these are messages sent by like administrators and that sort of thing. Uh, event invitations, um, etc. Don't worry about the purchasing, you don't need to purchase anything. There's forums. Um, basically, this also controls whether or not you get updates uh, when things go on in the forum. So if you have set yourself up uh, as subscriber, you've created a thread where you're automatically subscribed to it, uh, you're going to get notifications, threads you're subscribed to or forms you're subscribed to. You can turn those things off independently here if you wish to, if you don't want to get any kind of notifications whether you're subscribed or not. I don't know that I would really do that, being subscribed and being able to get notifications is kind of important. Uh, same thing for friend requests, so if somebody asks to be your friend, you probably want to know about that. Uh, comments. Okay, so this is also if you want to get notifications that somebody has responded to a comment that you've made in a in a forum thread. There's that. Uh, mentions. There are there is a way in the editor uh, to actually call someone's name out explicitly in a in a forum post. And if you do that, there is the ability to link and, and do 
notifications with that. So um, really, by and large, the default settings are just fine uh, and you probably want to keep them, but uh, that's there if you want to. Uh, privacy and the wall. Uh, so again, uh, these are privacy settings. Uh, so these are things like if you wanted to, to leave and get rid of the account, you can use the deactivate account. You can also set things like, I only want, you know, I don't, I don't want, I do or do not want users I'm not a friend, that I have not designated as a friend to be able to uh, have private chats with me or basically communicate with me directly. You can also define who can post and edit things on your wall right if you want to use the wall functionality and we'll show you that in a minute and it's it's just it's kind of think of it kind of like a, a personal facebook then you have two-factor authentication this is a way to to manage your account to prevent people from coming in and, and, and hijacking your account or anything else uh, if you enable two-factor authentication sometimes it will you'll, it'll ask you for your phone number and it'll send you a text and it'll give you a code uh, to validate who you are and then periodically it will ask you, for, it'll send you a text and ask you for a code to make sure that nobody has compromised your account. I don't know if you really want to turn that on or not. It's kind of up to you whether you feel like it. Uh, most users probably won't need it. Twitter authorization. This is if you are a Twitter user, uh, you can set up your Twitter feed information in here. Um, and then it would allow you to, to actually feed your posts and so forth out to Twitter. Uh, when you go ahead and you hit tweet. But anyway, that is, uh, that's an option. There is a help guide for this uh, if you want to go and set this up. And then there's the forum signature. Well, let me show you an example of a forum signature. If we go into uh, one of my postings, any of my postings, you'll see right here that I have this graphical signature at the bottom. Okay, where I've, you know, I've set it up and I went in, I used a graphic editor, I made it look pretty, you know, I can do this for people if they want it and they, they ask me for it. But the trick here is, is that once I created this, I had to actually store this on the internet somewhere. So if you've watched the forum tutorial where I talk about how the editor works, uh, you will have seen that the URL is what defines where this is, right? And I can say copy image address to get the URL. Um, I had to post this out on a public file sharing site. Like I believe I used photo bucket for it, which is one of the, the sites where you can upload it and get a URL. Once I had that URL, I came back in here and I had to make an entry with the tags, just like I did in the forum entry, uh, that allowed me to, to have it pick that tag up. Now, this is not necessarily for everyone. Um, this is not necessarily something that uh, you, you, you have to do. I mean, this is, this is kind of a vanity thing, um, but it's out there and it, it works the same way. It uses the same kind of tags and, and rules as the other stuff in the editor. Uh, but you do not need to do this if you don't want to. If you want to do this and you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can always contact me because I do these as a hobby. Uh, and I can always just email you or, or, or message you the, the string or whatever you need to copy and paste in here in order to actually activate your signature. So uh, that's out there if you want it. So that's the account settings. So there's all kinds of account settings. All right. Then there's this one up here called activity. If you want to go in and find posts that you have made, okay, you can click on my posts, okay, and you can see what you've posted on your wall, okay, specifically. Uh, you can also see what your friends have posted. You can also deal with what they call favorite friends. So there's friends and there's best friends. Uh, basically what it is, is it's two authorization levels. It's people I know and then people I'm close to. And you can, you can control certain behaviors, who can see what, who can make certain changes, who can write in certain places. Uh, you can control that based upon what level of friend you make them. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, messages. There is an entire tutorial on messages specifically. Um, and so I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into this very much here. Uh, you can watch that tutorial um, and we'll go from there. Okay. Friends, this is kind of a nice feature. Okay. So friends allows you to designate the people that you work with the most or people you like or know, or people that you've become your friends on the site. 
um, that you would want to know when they're online or have them kind of handy um, or that you would want to authorize them to say post on your wall or, or, or to communicate with you directly um, if you don't want people that you don't know talking to you. So the way that you actually deal with this is that if I want to add a friend, I can come down here and I can click on this thing that says find more friends, or I can say find friends, or I can say search friends. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this, but effectively what I can do is I can come up here and I can put in a name that I am interested in finding. So in this case, let's go ahead. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to search. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick somebody. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go, uh, We're gonna go with Bo, and we're gonna see if we can find him. There you go, Bo. Okay, and here's Bo Hodnet. If I wanted to add Bo, I know Bo, I could click on Add Friend. Okay, the alternative is also to block the user, which we'll talk about in a moment, how blocked users work. Um, but I can add him as my friend. Now, when I add him as a friend, he will get a notice saying that I have requested for him to be my friend. He has to then go in and accept. Once he's accepted, he becomes my friend. He'll show up in my list, okay? And when he is online, if I'm online at the same time, he will appear in my friends list. The reason that this is useful is because if he isn't in my friends list, I can double click on him and I can do instant messaging with him just like we were on Skype. Okay, so that's actually a really handy feature um, if your friends are online or you're working on something. I know that Tamara and I use this every once in a while when we're both on at the same time and need to communicate. Uh, Dick Tio and I use it, just a variety of things. Um, but it's kind of a handy little thing to use uh, if you all are working on scouting things together. Uh, so anyway, if you have any friend requests, they would appear in this list here. Okay, and you would just say accept if you wanted to, or you can reject it. There's also a thing called blocked users. So if there are people that you really just do not get along with and don't want to hear from, you can add them to your blocked users list and you will not be able to receive communications from them. Uh, and it will basically ignore that they're there. All right. Uh, so the last one is the forum feeds. So this is essentially, again, if you go back to the, to the forum uh, tutorial, uh, there is a section there that talks about subscriptions. This is essentially a summary of the threads and or forums that you are subscribed to. In here, you can go in and change your subscription settings if you wish, okay? Now, you probably don't even want to mess with this, okay? Because after a thread runs its course, it will, you know, no longer be getting more replies and you won't get any more emails. Um, so it, it probably won't be an issue. So you generally don't need to do this, but if for some reason you find yourself getting too many notifications, um, or you, you feel like you're, you're subscribed to too much stuff or you're, you're hearing too much stuff or more than you expect, this is one place where you can come and see what, what all you're subscribed to, uh, under notifications. Um, you know, it's the same thing. It's just looking at this in different ways. All right, so that's pretty much it for the account settings, okay, and managing kind of your accounts and your friends. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at your profile. Now this is where this gets a little different. So if you click on your name, and this happens anywhere you click on your name, so you can click on your name here or here, or we can click on it, you know, over here in the postings. There, you can click on it anywhere. If somebody clicks on your name, it's gonna take them to a different place, okay? This is your public profile. So this is kind of your public um, place on the site where people can come and talk to you. This is kind of like your little private community that you can work with. A uh, couple things can be done here. First thing is up here, if you wanna change your picture. Uh, so for example, you see that I have this picture right here uh, and you'll see that in my posts, in the forums, uh, it also shows that same picture right here, okay? That is being set in my profile. All I have to do is hit the hit the, uh, the little pencil button and I can drag a picture in here from my hard drive that I want to be my avatar, okay, or my, my profile picture. 
Okay, that's very straightforward. Um, you can also change this cover if you want to be artistic about it. Again, totally optional. All this stuff is totally optional. Um, but if you do want to, you know, somebody coming to your part of the little part of the website and you want to have something cool up here, you can hit change cover and you can put it in there. You can come up here and edit your the, the, the name that's showing. You can also edit your quote from here, which is stuff you saw on the other screens as well. It's just a, kind of a convenience that you can also edit it here. Um, and then down here, this is your wall. Okay, so this is if people want to come in and just leave you or drop you specifically a little message um, kind of on your own little Facebook feed right here. Uh, they can do that and they just come in here and they just type and you can share things and link photos and videos or whatever. This is just kind of a private place for you to kind of talk to your buddies. Um, so there's that, uh, you know, it shows you who your friends are. It shows you, um, you know, how many people have looked at your profile, how many posts you've got, just kind of statistics about you, um, you know, what votes you've received, that sort of stuff. Uh, the other thing, uh, you can go down here, you can, again, you can look at the about me stuff. You saw me actually type this in, uh, on the other page. Uh, I can quickly go to and edit that information if there's any pictures you want to share you can do them here that are that are like relevant to you probably you would be putting most pictures into threads and posts in the forums and so forth but if there's anything private you want to share or whatever um and then post this kind of gives you a, a history of what kind of discussions i've either started or been involved in so if you want to see things that i've been talking about you can come in here or if you're looking for things that you posted but you can't find them on the site this is also a quick way to come in here and actually uh, find out what's in there okay so that's your profile now one last thing you will notice where it says that there is a mobile app for this and there is a mobile app for this it's called engine e-n-j-i-n it's available for android and apple um, it is it is a little bit harder interface to use than all of this, and I may do a tutorial on it at some point. Um, it is also not necessary to use in order to access the website. It is kind of just another way to get at the information, um, but it can access the forums uh, and the events, and it can get into and get into the members. It can get into some of the basic things in the, in the website uh, and do it through a mobile platform if you so choose. Um, so there's that. So that's basically it. Uh, so thanks for your time and hopefully this will help you get your account setting set up and get you comfortable, get your picture out there and, uh, you know, help you hook up with your friends so that you can kind of see when people are on and, and kind of have easier access to people. And that's, that's everything I need to cover. So thank you for your time and, uh, enjoy the site.